guys hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing so in today's video if you want to know how i prepare this delicious stew keep watching and god bless you <music> guys here is my goat meat my chicken the one that i showed you guys in my previous video my live chicken cut washed and prepared my mackerel fish my three red peppers and my two onion one for steaming the meat and one for my stew ginger garlic seasoning powder nutmeg and i have my thyme as you can see my garlic powder curry and my scotch bonnet my pepper even my seasoning cube is there and my oil vegetable oil and i'll be using these tomatoes to make the stew i will just go ahead and put the tomatoes in pot in order to steam it to dry off the water and here i am steaming my meat as you can see i'm steaming my goat meat being that goat meat is strong and chicken hard one is also hard to cook so i'm cooking all together and all my seasonings are here curry powder ginger powder garlic thyme and my seasoning cube and also i added a bit of um the onion that i showed you earlier the smallest of the onion i added it and i'll be giving it a good good stir okay for it to marinate very very well so in this case being that the i also added salt okay i added salt to taste uh, being that these meats are strong meat i added a little bit of water to enable it cook and um cook well okay because the juice that will be coming out from this chicken will not be able to cook it all okay so i added um as much as needed the seasonings i added water to it a little in order to cook it being that it is a strong meat so to enable it cook very well okay guys and while this thing was cooking i covered it and i started um blending my peppers onion garlic fresh ones okay at this point my tomato was already in the pot and i'll be blending half of this onion and i'll be using the other half later to fry the stew I added a little bit of water to enable the ginger and the garlic to blend perfectly well. When I'm done, I'll just go ahead and add it to my boiling tomato to let it uh, boil to dry off the excess waters. And at this point, I'll be, I will go ahead and check my chicken. And by now, my chicken will be almost ready. Okay. So, I checked and it was ready. And I had to put it in the oven because I'm not frying it. guys at this point as you can see my tomato is ready and this is the chicken um broth okay and now i will go ahead to start frying my stew my oil is a bit hot and i added my onion 
I don't want the oil to be too hot. I prefer it this way. I added my onion and I gave it a little stir. I gave it a very good stay and I covered it after 10 minutes I opened it and I stirred it again continuous stirring so that it will get burnt and at this point my stew is almost ready and I'll just go ahead and I'll be adding my chicken stock in place of water I'll be adding a little bit of feet and I don't want this stew to be too watery this will be okay and I'll give it a stir and I will just go ahead and add the remaining seasoning cube that I reserved okay and after which I will cover it for some minutes for about five minutes to boil and we are almost done guys at this point my chicken fish and goat meat is ready to be added to my stew because my stew is ready of course so this goes in I'll be adding everything gradually gradually and when I'm done adding I gave it a little stir and I left it to cook for few minutes again like about two minutes So guys at this point our stew is ready thank you for watching god bless you keep watching my every other videos just the one that will pop out now click on it and watch for life is a privilege for me to live is christ see you soon guys